Julia Margaret Cameron was a renowned British photographer who was born in minus 30,883. Cameron had a lasting impact on the world of photography, but unfortunately passed away on January 26, 1879 in Kalatara, Ceylon. Cameron was part of the Romanticism art movement and was known for her unique approach to portrait photography. Her style was characterized by a soft focus and an emphasis on capturing the emotion and character of her subjects. Cameron's work often featured famous figures of the time and she was well known for creating photographs with Arthurian and other legendary themes that were popular during her era. Cameron was influenced by her friends and co-workers in the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood Painting School, which emphasized a return to medieval art traditions. She developed her own style that stood out from the traditional photography of her time and was able to produce works that continue to amaze and inspire the art world today. Julia Margaret Cameron was a British photographer who started her photographic career at the age of 48 as a gift. Cameron's photographic career lasted only for 11 years, from 1864 to 1875. Although her soft focus style and her treatment of photography as both an art and a science were not widely appreciated in her own time, they have influenced modern photographers. Cameron's portraits are especially notable for the way in which the subjects, often surrounded by shadow, seem to emerge from the image itself. Cameron used the wet collodion process to manipulate her photos, often resulting in mistakes that were viewed as slovenly in her day. However, her unconventional style proved more popular with 19th-century pre-Raphaelite artists than with photographers themselves. Cameron was born Julia Margaret Paddle in Calcutta, India, in 1815, to Adeline Marie de Letang and James Peter Paddle, a British official with the East India Company. After marrying Charles Hay Cameron, a British jurist, the family moved to London in 1848. Here, her sister Sarah Princep hosted a salon at Little Holland House in Kensington, where artists and writers regularly visited. In 1860, Cameron visited the estate of poet Alfred Lord Tennyson on the Isle of Wight. It was love at first sight, and the Cameron family soon purchased land on the island, calling it Dimbola Lodge. It was here that Cameron began her career in photography, experimenting with both lens and light, and often using family members as models. Cameron often wrote about her desire to arrest all the beauty that came before me and at length the longing has been satisfied. Indeed, her intent was always to capture beauty, and not simply to document life as it was. She even used the wet collodion process, a method that was in its infancy at the time, to capture wrinkles and blemishes and present her sitters' faces in the most beautiful light. Her photography changed the way people thought about the photographic arts, elevating it beyond a strictly documentary purpose to a realm of creativity and aesthetic notation. Today, Cameron's work is seen as groundbreaking, and worthy of recognition not merely for its historical significance, but for the artistic vision it represents. In conclusion, Julia Margaret Cameron was a British photographer who played a significant role in the world of photography. Despite starting her photographic career late in life, Cameron's unique approach to portrait photography and her ability to capture the emotion and character of her subjects set her apart from the traditional photography of her time. Cameron was influenced by her friends and co-workers in the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood Painting School and developed her own style that stood out from the norm. Cameron's portraits continue to amaze and inspire the art world today, as her unconventional style proved more popular with Pre-Raphaelite artists than with photographers themselves. While Cameron's style was not widely appreciated in her own time, today her work is seen as groundbreaking, elevating photography beyond a strictly documentary purpose to a realm of creativity and aesthetic notation.